All right, so today I'm going to talk about doing a nasogastric tube insertion, or NG tube is what you hear, hear us call it. First, we're gonna look at our supplies that we need. So of course, you need your Salem sump NG tube. We have a rubber band and a paper clip, pH paper, uh, lubricating jelly, you've got your tape, you need a cup with water, your emesis basin, tissue, and then we'll need the syringe at the end. And starting now, you're going to be having doctor's orders with the order in there, um, and I will show you how we will be using those. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna knock on the door, hand hygiene. Uh, good morning, my name is Talina. I'm gonna be your student nurse today. I'm gonna take my order. Ooh, and raise your bed up. So what we want you to start doing is we want you to have this order in your hand because this is how you're going to verify the name and date of birth. So can you tell me your name and date of birth? So I'm looking at the band on the arm and I'm looking at the doctor's order here to make sure we have the right uh, patient. Looking at their date of birth. We do go over their allergies to see you have no known drug allergies. Is there anything you might have missed or can you think of that you might be allergic to? They say no. Okay. Now I'm going to explain to them what we're gonna be doing. So the doctor has ordered an NG tube to be placed. Um, are you familiar with, with an NG tube? If they say no. Okay, well what it is, it's a small tube. It will go into your nose, down your throat, and into your stomach. And we will hook it up to suction and it'll suck out the um, stomach contents that you have. And it'll really relieve um, whatever they've got going on, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'll let, if you have come up with any kind of questions, let me know. I'm gonna take my table and I'm gonna set up my supplies and get ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over the bed table over here. Set the orders down. I'm gonna go ahead and sit you up, sir. You wanna do at least a 30 degree angle. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape. Remember, this is not a sterile procedure. Okay. It's a, long, a little longer one, just a small short one. With the long one, you're going to take it and you're going to rip it in the center. We call these the blue jeans. Make you some blue jeans, okay? Place that on the side. I've got my tissue, my cut, my basin. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pH paper in the basin. I've got my lubrication jelly ready. And we'll open my NG tube up. Before I start um, doing this procedure, you always want to check your equipment first before you get started because it's going to be horrible if you get in the middle of it and your equipment doesn't work. So here you have, I don't know if you can see it, let me move it back down. This is your suction canister. It'll have suction tubing. This is uh, the device that controls it. So you always want to assume that this tubing is dirty. So you'll put your gloves on. So the way suction canisters work is you've got your off right in the center, regular and intermittent. I looked at my doctor's orders. He said he wanted intermittent suction. So I'm going to flip it over. That turns it on. And in order for me, your suction on an NG tube is anywhere between 80 and 120. So for this dial to jump up, to see what kind of suction power you have, you have to put your thumb over the end. So when I do that, I'll watch my dial shoot up. If it's on too much, you just dial it back or you can turn it up, but adjust it anywhere between 80 and 120, okay? So we know this is working, so we're gonna turn it off so our equipment is ready. And we'll go ahead and put our tubing right here. And go ahead and raise them back up. Okay. 
So what I would do is I would take my pen light, I'm gonna look in your nose, and what I'm looking for is a deviated septum or any kind of nasal polyps. I wanna ask my patient, have you ever, ha ever had any nasal surgery? Reason being is because a deviated septum or polyps or any kind of nasal surgery could hinder you from getting in, in down into the nerve. And so we don't wanna cause any more trauma. They said, no, they have not had, they don't have any of the above, okay? Well, what side of the nose do you breathe out of better? And he says, well, I breathe better out on the right side. You wanna use the one that they can breathe out of the best because then you know there's less likelihood of you running into any, any problems. There, you know, it's not stopped up, it, it's probably a bigger airway. So we're gonna use the right side. All right, let's see. So what I'm gonna do is you wanna give them tissue we're gonna have a cup of water. And so we'll give that to him. What we're gonna explain is, I'm gonna give you a cup of water and there's gonna be a, part, a, a, a time where I'm gonna ask you to sip and swallow. If there, at any time, you want me to stop and just give you a second, I want you to raise your left hand. We want them to raise the hand, not right here in our face because we're trying to work here. So I'm telling him his left hand. All right, my pH paper in my basin. I'm gonna set that there. Got my tape ready. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my lubrication. Set that there. Now I'm to the point where I can take out our tube. So this is what it looks like. You've got this blue vent. You never, ever, ever connect anything to the vent. It is exactly what it says. It's a vent. It has to stay open. This right here, is an important connection piece, so don't lose it. There are two ways that you can do this, okay? You can either take the blue vent and connect it right there so that it's a closed circuit because if we put the tube in and it goes into the stomach and maybe there, uh, there's a lot of pressure built up, if this is not closed, it's gonna shoot out and it's gonna shoot all over you. So you can either do it this way or you can take your syringe and go ahead and place it there either one. So I've got that. You want to take the end of your NG tube. We want to wrap it around our hand. And what this does is it loosens it up, makes it to where it's not so stiff. Wrap it around a couple of times. Okay. And then just set this right here. We have to measure first. So you take the end of your NG tube. You want to start off with the tip of their nose. We go to their earlobe. And then we follow up down here and we want down here to the xiphoid process. Where my finger is, is where I'm gonna take my small piece of tape and that's gonna mark the tube so I know how far we're gonna, we're gonna go down. That way we make sure it's in the stomach, okay? So I've got everything set up. You always wanna start out with your patient with their neck hyperextended. Okay, so we're gonna remove our pillow. I will take my lubrication and just put it into the little package there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, we said he breathes better out of the right side. So he's got his neck hyperextended. So I'm gonna gradually start introducing it, okay? And at this point, I'm gonna take my pen light and you wanna look at the back of their throat because we wanna make sure that the tubing is lined up, it's not kinking around in, in the mouth, okay? Let's see. So he looks good. At this point, you're gonna ask your patient to tuck his chin to his chest. And what this does is it gets that epiglottis to cover the trachea so you don't push the NG tube down into their lungs and it goes into the stomach like it should. So. As I'm, as I'm advancing, I'm gonna ask you to sip and swallow, okay? So we know the mannequins can't hold their heads up, but this is where they would have their chin tucked, okay? So I'm advancing and I say sip, swallow. You want to advance when he swallows because that muscle tightening helps push that tubing down there. So he would go sip, swallow, sip, swallow. Sometimes you have to twist it around, get it going where it needs to be. Sip, swallow, sip, swallow. Okay, 
all the way down. Zip swallow, zip swallow, zip swallow. Stop. Okay. Hold it there. Do, never, do, not, do not ever let go of your tube because it will shoot out. We're going to take our blue jeans, place it on the bridge of the nose, and you wrap it around. Whenever you secure it, you want to make sure the tubing is not rubbing up against the nair because it will cause skin breakdown. We want it just in the middle. All right, so we are secured. You can let go. Now remember, we are closed off, so nothing's going to come out. You have to verify placement, and the way that you do that is you will gently pull back. Some of the stomach contents will come in to your syringe. It'll come down the tube into the syringe. You always, always kink your tubing. So kink it, make sure you're not pulling on your patient. Take this off, and then you're gonna put that stomach contents on the pH paper. Put your, just kind of squeeze it off like that, okay? And then the other way that you check for placement is they would get an x-ray. So I'm gonna put my little adapter here. I've got me crimped off here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my tubing. Push it on there real good. And I will go ahead and turn it on to intermittent. So we don't need the water anymore. All of this is done. This is where the rubber band comes into place. So we wanna give them enough slack to turn their heads but we wanna make sure that it's not pulling on their nose. So what you'll do, is you'll take that rubber band, loop it through itself. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you'll pin it to their gown. See how he has enough room to turn his head and it's not pulling. And we'll put our pillow back. You can just tuck that tube kind of behind their pillow, and that's good. So we're going to ask our patient, make sure that they feel okay. And of course, we want to come back and check on our patient. I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to go ahead and do hand hygiene. Can I get you anything? Lower your bed, side rails up, call light within reach. We're going to note the amount that's draining. Look at the color consistency. Hopefully, this is helping them out, making them feel more comfortable. And then we would take all of our supplies and we would leave. So we would do our XYZs.